we both know words, whether we're politicians or journalists. So my blunt first question to you, David, and then to Mark is this. Is it hyperbole? Are we building it up because it's what we want to happen? Or do you believe that Ukraine could actually win this war? I, th I think to some extent, Alistair, they, they, they have won in that the continued independence uh, and identity of Ukraine as a nation, I think, has been achieved through the courage and, uh, of, of the Ukrainian resistance. I'll just stop to you there for no more than two seconds, but that's profound, because you're a former senior top minister in the UK government, echoing almost word for word what General Petraeus, mm. the top US commander for many years, has also said. They have, in effect, won. They, they have won in, in, to that extent. Mm. Um, and if you look at what Putin's forces have been doing in the occupied parts of eastern Ukraine, destroying books on Ukrainian history, trying to erase any symbols of Ukrainian statehood and identity, deporting huge numbers of Ukrainian people to prison camps yeah. in Russia, you can see that the, the nature uh, uh, of the gravity of the threat that was facing the whole of Ukraine. So I think that they have stopped that happening. What I um, find more difficult to envisage, I hope I'm being too pessimistic, what I find more difficult is the thought that the Ukrainians would be able to push the Russians out of the whole of that Ukrainian territory that is currently occupied by Russian forces. Um, Barring that is a major political shift within the Kremlin when I, when I think all sorts of possibilities become open.